everybody. Uh, welcome to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about how Europe is behind in internet and what we can do about it. Do me a favor. Try to remember which are the largest internet companies you can name. Which one are European? You're thinking Facebook, you're thinking Google, you're thinking Amazon, Uber, Booking, none of them are European. In fact, the largest internet companies by market capitalization are either American or Chinese. The question is why is that happening and what the solution is. A lot of Europeans are getting desperate about that and want a shortcut solution. They want an internet giant funded by the government. Some large company like we did with Airbus, which was a successful case of that, funded by state aid that can compete in that space. Given how dynamic the internet space and how quickly companies grow and how technologically intense they have to be, it's unlikely that governments can, can solve that problem. There's another solution, which is improving the environment to do business for internet startups from Europe. The problem they face, in fact, is that apart from having difficulty accessing uh, talent and capital, they also have a lot of difficulty growing from one country to the next. Think of the crowdfunding space. We have two large companies that are the largest in Europe and the largest in the US. The largest US company is Lending Tree. The largest in Europe is Funding Circle. Both are doing basically the same thing, collecting lots of loans and lots of little investments from lots of people like you and I and giving it to an entrepreneur to put an idea uh, together. Lending Tree has been very successful. It has a market cap of 5 billion euros, whereas Funding Circle, the UK company, has been much less successful. It has only grown to a market cap of 330 million. Revenue has been similarly different, whereas Lending Tree has grown to 150 million. Funding Circle is only 190 million. Why is that? Well, part of the problem is regulation. If you want to lend to a Hungarian company using money from retail investors in Germany, France, Spain, and Italy, you're going to have to get the permit to operate and raise funding in all of those countries. That means, from a regulatory perspective, it's a nightmare. Finance Circle would have to persuade regulators in all those countries that it is a fit company. It fulfills different requirements that each country's uh, lawmakers put together. That's going to restrict the growth of any small European startup which is going to find that it's not a European startup but it's a French or Italian, Estonian, a Greek startup. From the European Parliament we're trying to solve this problem. We are putting together a crowdfunding directive together with the Commission and now it's being negotiated with, this, with the governments of the different countries that is going to aim to solve this problem by creating a single market in which once a company is authorized to operate in one country it can operate in the other countries. Once its regulators, the regulators have decided that the company fulfills the regulatory requirements in one particular country, it should be allowed uh, similarly to operate in the others. Uh, that's what we're going to be working over the next weeks and months. We'll keep you abreast of the progress of this crowdfunding directive. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.